In this video, I'm gonna show you three ways how you can create repeating checklists on Trello. Hello everyone, Adam here from Pixel Mystic. This is a Q&A video where I'll be answering questions from my students who are enrolled to my Trello course on Udemy. At the time of this recording, I have more than 2,000 students already enrolled to my course and it's got lots of positive reviews. So if you're interested, there's a limited time discount and you can get that by clicking on the link in the description below. All right, this question comes from Ed McManus and he asks, how do I come up with processes to use as checklists for everyday occurrences that happen over and over? Like a checklist that an airplane pilot uses every time he flies. I'm a financial advisor. I want to process for every aspect of my business, but I want to keep the checklist with the client notes so I can demonstrate that I went through that process. So I'm going to share with you three options to accomplish this. And then from there, you can decide which options works best for your scenario. All right. So the first option is to copy another card's checklist. I've got my board set up here so you can see this in action. I have a few cards here that has checklists. Uh, they are unique for each card. So for video pre-production, there's a few things that I need to do. And then for example, video production itself, I have a few recording activities I need to do and so on and so forth. Now you can just edit a new card that you want to inherit the previous checklist. Let's say serial commercial. You create this card and you open it up. Head over to checklist. And instead of creating a new checklist and just click add, we are going to copy items from another checklist from another card. So you'll see a list of all the cards that um, you've created in the past. In this example, this is a few cards, but imagine if it's a um, a, a big project, you probably have a long list of cards and then you can just select, let's say this checklist and it'll immediately inherit that checklist from the previous card. I can also add another one from say, uh, video production as well. So now you have multiple checklists, um, added to this new card. It will not inherit the status. So meaning it's not going to tick. Uh, if the previous card that you're referencing from already has a thick. So for example, if this checklist here already has two ticks and let's see, we get rid of all these. Let's start from, um, let's start from scratch. Uh, you're going to copy the checklist as from pre-production. Yeah. So these two are not tick. They don't inherit the progress of the checklist that you're referencing from. So another pro tip, I think that's very important. Like I mentioned, this checklist that you want to copy from is going to list down every single card ever created. So it's going to be a long list. One way you can speed things up and make it easier for yourself is to create a separate card dedicated for copying checklists. So it's like a template card. So for example, I have a list of references or documents. I can create a card and call it maybe video pre-production template. And then this would have uh, pre-production. It's fine. Okay. What you want to do in a title is to add symbols because the list here is based on alphabetical order. So C is before T and then V is at the bottom. So what you can do is add symbols before the title. So in other words, add symbols as the first letter. For example, I put here this symbol 
And that means that if I were to create a new card, let's say another serial commercial, let's click here. Now I want to reference a checklist from my template and it's right there up front. It's the first thing that appears because of this symbol. So my advice is to have a bunch of templates in a dedicated list like this and put the symbol in front to help you reach out to those cards easily when you're trying to copy the checklist. Okay, option number two is to copy a card which has a similar checklist. This is very similar to option one, but it's, well, faster in some situations. So what you can do is literally choose a card that you want to copy and copy it. Make sure you select keep checklist and then decide uh, which board you want this uh, card to be in, which list you want it to be in, maybe you want it in to do, which position, maybe at the bottom. Let's create. And there you go. The card will have the checklist inherited. You just need to change the title. Add in the description and tweak whatever other settings you need to tweak to make this card new and unique. Okay, so for option number three, you can use the card repeater power up. This is helpful when you have something that's recurring on a consistent basis, either daily, weekly, or monthly. So to do that, just hit the menu and search for power ups. And it'll open up the store. So from here, you can go to the search function and look for Card repeater. This is an official power up from Trello. So usually it's free when it's official um, from Trello. Basically, you can just click add and then you get a notification that you already add card repeater. Now you go back to your board. Let's say you want um, this one right here. Well, let's just duplicate this for a while and change it a bit just to differentiate it from the other um, card that we have. Okay, so we have another template called Video Pre-Production Template. And it has a checklist from before. We want this to repeat, let's say, um, every Monday. So you click on the power up button and it'll list down a bunch of options right here. You can select which list you want the card to appear. Let's say here in to-do, you can select either every week or how many ever weeks. <laughs> That's a long list right here. You can select some uh, days that you want it on. Maybe you are working five days a week, so you select these options only. You can select the time that you want the card to be generated. Maybe you want it first thing in the morning let's say 9 a.m. Now you can get the summary right here. You will see this card repeat on March 8, 2019 at 9 a.m. Another disclaimer that's very important is this one. If this card is deleted or moved to another board, it'll stop from being repeated. Click save. And then you can see here now there's an in the description, well, above the description, it mentions when is this card going to repeat with the time and date. Okay, there are many ways you can uh, stop this from happening uh, if you want it to stop repeating for uh, whatever reason that you have. As mentioned before, you could delete the card completely. Don't archive, but delete the card completely. And you need to delete the original card. So imagine if the card is created in my to-do list somewhere here, deleting that card won't stop the 
repeat process. You need to delete the card that is the origin point. So this is the original card that we use to uh, activate the power up. So we need to either remove this or we completely uh, delete this card. I'm not sure whether the archive will work, but for safety reasons, I say just click on delete straight away. It'll ask you whether you want to completely delete this card. Just say yes, and it will be gone and it will stop repeating. So there you go. Three ways you can create repeating checklists on Trello. Do check out my Trello course below. It's in the description. And as I mentioned before, there's already a special limited time offer discount applied to that link. I will be making more Trello videos like this one. So if you like what you see, do hit subscribe for more. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. It is due to their generous contributions that I'm able to keep making videos. They are also supporting the development of my game, What The Hex. You can check it out right here. I upload devlogs regularly on this channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.